Hey guys, it's Greg at Scholar Farms, and we're up in Seattle at Micah Sense, and we're here with Justin to talk about the new Altum sensor that you guys have just launched. So thanks for having me up here. Yeah, thanks for coming. And so tell me about the sensor. I'm super excited from a plant mapping perspective, so what can it do? Sure, so this is Altum. Um, it's our new six-band sensor uh, for Micah Sense. Uh, it does uh, six-band uh, six capture of synchronous data for both um, RGB, uh, two near infrared bands, uh, a red edge band and a near infrared uh, band, as well as a long wave infrared, which is a thermal camera. Uh, so we have six bands in one camera, um, and it also does that at three times the, the resolution as our current sensor, the red edge. So I'm going out and flying, and I'm basically I'm getting RGB. I can have near infrared and red edge, so I can do my my indices, my plant indices, and then thermal all at the same time. That's right. You're getting all those at the same time, uh, synchronous capture for all of those. Okay. Um, and so when you process those, they're processed as a rig, they all get processed together, um, and your outputs are pixel aligned. So you get your indices right on top of your RGB. Um, and that higher resolution gives you not only higher resolution images themselves, but of course you can fly at the same altitude um, and you can get much higher resolution on the ground. So with uh, sort of the normal flight altitude in the US being about 400 feet, mm -hmm. um, you're getting about five centimeter resolution on all of those bands. Uh, the thermal is a lower resolution, but um, the RGB and the near infrared, uh, as well as the red edge bands are all coming in at five centimeter. Wow, that's awesome. So one of the issues we had before with multi-spectral cameras is they're pretty low resolution. And so if you wanted maybe leaf level or branch level details, then you know, you really had to kind of take an average of those at a, at a plot level or at a field level. So this seems to solve that pain point. Yeah, we have a lot of, a lot of customers, especially in the higher, uh, the higher end crop realm, the, the orchards and the vineyards, uh, they'll tend to fly a red edge today at 250, 300 feet uh, in order to get the resolution they need. Uh, with Altum, they can fly at sort of the max altitude in the U.S. and still get the, re the, the resolution they yeah, need. Yeah, and that 25% different, I mean, that's 25% more area that you can cover and then you get all your bands. So we're working on a project right now, like we take our thermal camera and we put it on and we put our RGB on and then maybe we fly with a multi-spec or a red edge at the same time. So that's three flights just to capture the same data. Now we can do it all in one flight, all at 400 feet and cover kind of a maximum area. Tell me a little bit about the payload, the weight. So how many grams is it? Uh, so it's right up 400 grams uh, with, uh, with the new DLS. Um, so four, a little bit under a pound. Uh, so it's a little heavier than the red edge, mm -hmm. uh, but it does a lot more. And, and we found that most of our users that are doing this type of uh, analytics works are flying on a, on a larger drone anyway. So the weight, uh, it's always a concern, um, but it's not uh, a concern to get this sort of performance. And it looks like the housing is, can I pick sure. it up? Yeah, so good. it's a nice aluminum kind of manufactured housing. It really, feels really robust. Uh, like you're getting your, your money's worth. Um, so I know it's a little bit more expensive, right, in terms of retail pricing. Uh, right. What are folks kind of looking at for a price? Uh, so it's right around 10K. Okay. Um, is uh, is the, the manufacturer's advertising Yeah, the price. retail price. <laughs> right. But that actually yep. saves you money in that. So if I was to buy a Red Edge, which is around 5,000 or so, yep. um, a decent thermal camera is around eight grand, and then another RGB camera, if I wanted that higher resolution, would be somewhere around $900 or so. So actually, it's a pretty good price. Yeah, if you add it all up, uh, you're getting a lot of value in, in that price, for sure. Awesome, so uh, launched today, basically, yeah. um, and so um, can people buy it? Buy it now? It's uh, yeah, we have, uh, I think it'll be available on our website to buy, um, as well as through some of our partners. Uh, drone integrations and um, we'll be shipping it soon. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot for having me up here. We're going to talk a little bit more with Justin in future blogs about the data side and some of the aspects of what kind of drones you can fly this on. So catch, uh, catch us in some of the blogs that are coming up and uh, we'll talk to you in a bit. I'm Greg with Scholar Farms and we'll talk to you soon.